guys. So today I'm reacting to Wednesday, episode five and six. Okay, now I said my next video was going to be five and eight, but I am traveling for the holidays and there is no way I would be able to get all four episodes out. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna watch two today because I have a lot of stuff I have to upload. Doing four was a lot, that was a lot. <laughs> it's great to watch, but it takes forever to upload and edit and everything, so yeah. Okay, we need to find out if Eugene is okay. It looked really bad at the end of last episode, but I am hoping because he did not deserve that at all. I felt so bad when he decided to go on his own and Wednesday went to the dance with Tyler and Xavier. Like, I feel bad for Xavier. I really do. And then finding out like Bianca kind of opening up to Wednesday, I was like, wow, okay. Starting to like Bianca a little bit. But there's still a mystery on like, who is this monster? Who is this monster going around? And Eugene, that hurt my soul. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping they got there in time because oh. so fingers crossed that he is okay, but we're gonna have to see. Without further ado, let's go. How well do we really know our parents? But when he was a student, he was accused of a murder that took place right Are we getting a flashback? No. Oh. What really happened that stormy night? 32 Ooh, years ago? right into a flashback. <laughs> that was abrupt. Okay, that looks very, very bad. Let's go. The actress playing her looks very pretty. I'm like, she looks a little familiar though. Oh gosh. I feel like this is gonna be awkward. I'm sure she's dying to see us. I mean, with all that she knows now, maybe? I'm happy to report that Eugene is on the mend and is expected to make a full- I hope that's not a lie. And make this parents weekend our very best yet. I hope so. Do you look at my family? Talk about toxic pack mentality. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Hmm. <laughs> I've been hunted, haunted, and the target of an attempted murder. Okay, now that someone said it, she does not blink. And I guess she never does throughout the show. And I, like, the comment pointed that out. Now I just, like, can't stop focusing on that. Have you been eating enough red meat? It's good to see you too, Mom. And you, Dad. The dad seems chill. My darling daughter. Oh? She looks terrified. This probably isn't a good thing. Dr. Kimbert and I have spoken, and we both agree it would be most beneficial for you all to attend a family session this week. Family weekend. therapy. Oh, great. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> What's wrong? Dude, what if Tyler meets her family? Scot -free. At least they care enough about Wednesday to go to therapy with her. <laughs> this looks so uncomfortable. Oh. Shh, to bring out the best in each other. Get it at me. It's really gross how sexual they are in front of her all the time. Who was Garrett Gates and why are you accused of murdering him? Whoa. Those charges were dropped. <laughs> The session is over. Have it your way, mother. She's weirdly when bothered by this. Refuse to tell me Compared to her dad. A <laughs> little Pugsley. Thanks for the candy. Is he just gonna Actually, take the potpourri? Oh, he's just eating potpourri. Your father did nothing wrong. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Yikes. Dude, again, the mom seems more bothered by it. Gideon said you'd resist. Don't say that man's name to me. You think he'd give a damn about some single mom and her daughter if we weren't sirens? <laughs> that is no way to talk about your stepfather. Oh, yikes. He's already got one siren to do his bidding. Man, I'm feeling so bad for her. Goodbye, this wasn't a request. She's gonna make her leave. 
then everybody here is gonna know how you sirened your way into Nevermore. Oh. I finally make something of myself and you want to destroy it. We're just supposed to assume all sirens are just bad people. I feel so bad for Bianca. Her mom seems like a bitch. I harvested hive number three. Mm. The bees miss you, Eugene. Wake up, Eugene. Oh. Aww. Eugene's moms, Sue and Janet. You Aww. were all he could talk about lately. Oh. He was so excited to finally make a real friend. He talks about her all the time. That's so so. Oh my gosh, I have a freaking tear just stuck in my eye. Camera was obscured. Black bubble gum. Black bubble gum. I'd be like Wednesday. Like, why not use a colorful bubble gum? <laughs> Garrett Gates, you gotta be kidding me. You heard of it? I've been waiting 30 years to put away his murder. Oh man, now we're gonna focus on the dad again. <laughs> oh, he looks so much better now. <laughs> she upset about him dying? Oh, nope. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Unless that's like her way of respecting him. Again, I don't know. They always do things in like the opposite way. <laughs> Have you wolfed out yet? Mm. No. Well, that is a disappointment. Oh, that's me. They don't care about anything besides that. What's happening, Miss Thornhill? I have no idea. Is he gonna get arrested oh, like in front of? Oh. Uh oh. You're under arrest for the murder of Garrett Gates. Do the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Well, I feel like you should, you know, tell Wednesday whatever you were going to tell her. Garrett was infatuated with your mother. He mistook her kindness for interest. His infatuation turned into obsession. So he became a stock. Okay. <laughs> it all came to a head the night of the Raven Dance. So this dude was a stalker, but did he deserve to die though? Get out of here. He won't hurt me. Garrett, no! The fact that he's like, I'm gonna murder this guy because I love her, even though she doesn't love you back. <laughs> so self-defense because he was being attacked. Unless this isn't true. It could not be true. I mean, the dude wasn't gonna stop. But that, that looks bad still. How many fathers hand their daughter a fencing blade when she's five years old? Your saber strokes were an essay in perfection. Or teach her how to swim with sharks. So as far as fatherhood goes, I would say you've been more than adequate. Aww. I found the monster's cave and I gave you the DNA evidence. Did you even bother to test it? This may come as a shock, but the world doesn't revolve around you, Adams. Um, there's a monster going around killing everybody. Okay. Garrett Gates' family deserves closure. Even if none of them are around to take comfort in it. What happened to them? His mother hung herself in the backyard. His father drank himself to an early grave. And even his little sister didn't escape. Oh my gosh. He's got the whole damn families. Okay, that's intense. Everyone freaking dying. I mean, okay, when something like that happens, it can cause a chain reaction. Of just like depression. Don't you want to wolf don't... out and finally be normal, honey? I'd say that's almost the opposite of being normal, but I guess, you know, she was talking about her fear of being like alone though. Damn. Did you know they haven't spent a single night apart since they've tied the knot? I always thought I'd be the first one in the family behind bars. <laughs> Lurch and I had a bet going. <laughs> what? Aw, sibling moment. They're bonding in such a weird way. <laughs> Just throwing grenades in the water. Because in America. Goody. She's like, so how do you know her name? How ironic, since she was the one who killed Joseph Craigstone. He killed him? So go on, ask. Oh. Father didn't kill Garrett Gates, did he? Did she? No. Oh, she did. It's even foaming at the mouth. 
That guy is creepy looking. <laughs> the eyes of a rabid beast. Wait, could he be the monster though? No, that wouldn't make sense because he's not going after Wednesday. Dude, why didn't she just say it was self-defense? I feel like they probably would have let her go. <laughs> Your father took the blame in order to protect me. But it still was an accident, though. Are you sure you don't want to join? Um... I love how she's okay. just letting Wednesday do all of this. Like, <laughs> I was right. Well, what? What do we have here? Oh, this looks bad. This looks bad. Guess it's gonna be an Adams family reunion and lock up tonight. You're both under arrest. Okay, what did she discover? It's a souvenir from our outing. Garrett was dying before you stabbed him. But you, you still stabbed him, so... He was going to use the nightshade poison to murder the entire school. How do you prove that, though, to everyone? I had a vision, and you know what? He was trying to kill everyone first. I don't know. Men like you have no idea what it feels like not to be believed. Oh, snap. Honestly, that would be so annoying. But I feel like even in real life that happens with you report stalking and they're like, but All they might not do drop. anything. My father will be released immediately with a full and unequivocal apology from the sheriff's office. If this is all going to get resolved in this episode. <laughs> Look at that. You were very impressive in there. They're so awkward. <laughs> You're a raven. Your visions are more potent, more powerful. So because of that, she has more powerful visions. If I could help you, I would. Wednesday. Okay, is that what she's seeing though in that picture? Be careful, Wednesday. Goody was a witch of great strength. Uh oh, are we gonna find out that Goody is a really bad person? Save herself. So, your daughter and my son have become close. I pity any boy who gets caught in a viper's gaze, but he must be a good egg. At least now if they ever start dating, it won't be like super awkward. Seems the hatred is gone on that part. <laughs> if I'm meant to wolf out, then I'm going to do it on my own timeline and not yours. I just hope that one day you'll finally be able to accept me for who I am. I hope so too. You do you. Aww. So at least one of them's nice. <laughs> I'm only a crystal ball away. Okay. Thank you, Mother. Aw, there we go. Now what? A hug? <laughs> Air kisses. <laughs> and the family is gone. The relationship seems to be a little better, so that's good. <laughs> what now? I knew it. I did witness Rome getting murdered that night. Not only did you impersonate Judy Garland, oh, you snap. became her. Ooh. You're a shapeshifter. Rome's father already knows what happened, and he fully supports my decision not to involve the authorities. What? Why? Why would he agree to that? Yeah. <laughs> Why? It's not in his right mind. Oh. What's burning? Fire will rain. What a cliffhanger. Okay, so we had a lot there. Thank goodness we finally had Wednesday and her mother build some kind of relationship because before it was so distant and, well, besides the weird way that they always make compliments and things, it always seems like the negative compliments are what they like. You know, we had Wednesday and her mother working together and I was just like, oh, okay. And in the end, they got her father out, which that entire situation... Again, I feel like I hear stories about that all the time where like a girl's getting stalked and then they go to the police and they're like, well, I mean, there's not much we can do. And then it seems like the only time they ever do something is when something bad happens. I don't know if that's, that's not always the case, but I feel like people don't take stalking seriously. 
you know? She was doing it out of self-defense. And and now we can move forward finding out who is this monster. Like, who is this monster? Hopefully Eugene will wake up. His family, his mother seemed so sweet. And it was just, ah! That and also this mysterious, like, Goody Adams, watch out. You know, she's a witch. And at first I'm like, oh, I feel bad for her. But now I'm like, uh oh, like maybe this is why Wednesday goes mad. So we'll have to see. I'm going to do another episode. Let's go. But my mother told me Goody is the only one that can train me to control my psychic ability. Oh, creepy. Uh, Enid? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, who's that? <laughs> you insisted on coming along. She's so precious, but like, what would that do? I hope Enid won't become a target, though. What died? Smells like childhood. <laughs> Whoever you are, show yourself. Show yourself. Try anything, and you'll lose. Oh. Surprise! What? Happy birthday! Wait, it's her birthday? What the heck? Honestly? Happy look at the cake! Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's wearing a little hat. Why don't you make a wish? Oh, come on. Enjoy it! Enjoy it! Fire will rain when I rise. Oh. Okay, that's not really a wish. That's what it said, though, when it was burning. We're never eating that cake, are we? <laughs> Vision? It's gonna be Goody. Goody, you are the raven in my bloodline. The path of a raven is a solitary one. You end up alone, unable to trust others. They asked thing to hide it before they left on Parents Weekend. Taxidermit. That's so gross. Oh gosh. Oh no! Still accepting presents. <gasps> oh, she got her a gift. <laughs> Do you like it? Is it a scarf? Is it a hat? What, what? is it exactly? Yeah, what is it's that? Snood, silly. Snood. I have one too. Oh, they're matchy. <laughs> we can wear them together oh. to class. Suggest we wait for a more special occasion. Oh, like a funeral. <laughs> That was so sweet of her, though. I love their little roommate, like, friendship. I've always been against birthdays. Each one reminds me I'm a year closer to death's cold embrace. Oh! Gross! I would die. Presents and games, it... It all feels so trivial. Oh, well, she's talking to you, Chan. I'm sorry for it. I haven't seen you since our session with your family, which was. It's really annoying. sweet that she's like talking to him. How are things going with them? My mother and I spent some quality time together. Who's Goody? No. She's a very distant cousin. What? Why do we really Come zoom in on those flowers? They're usually a quad oh, that looks girl, but yummy. I've been working on that all week. He's so cute. Birthday, yes. Come on, don't you like a day? It's all about you. Every day is all about me. This one just comes with cake and a bad song. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner. Aww. Date? Would that be something you're interested Date? in? Date? Oh, I thought she was going to be like, but I can hang out with you. I feel like ever since the Raven, you've kind of been ghosting me. Am I wrong? Maybe it's the guilt. Did he draw it? I started having those dreams again. Like before. Wait, so he's having dreams and in? she's having visions. No, but... That's interesting. How they would both see the same thing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. She is his muse. That's fun. <laughs> Wednesday forgot this. Could you give it back to her? Birthday gift from Enid. Aren't you her boyfriend? 
Mm. Definitely not. Sure. No problem. Most people think I'll never amount to anything. And while we're being honest, I haven't done much to make them think differently. Why'd you trash the dance? I don't know. He was thinking about not doing it, though. He had a change of heart, but his friends were like, come on, come on. Sheriff told me his family died, along with their legacy of hate. Okay, but to be fair, they said the daughter became an orphan and she drowned, but did they actually find her body? Oh! <gasps> Why would someone run him over? Like, <laughs> that was just like... <sighs> Call me old fashioned, but when someone is run over on the way to give the police key information, it usually means they were onto something. That is a good observation. I saw this on my bookshelf and thought of you. Frankenstein. Mary Shelley wrote it on a dare when she was only 19. So you're only looking out for my best interests? Always. I think we're a lot alike. We aren't. I don't need your help or your pity. I already have a mother and a therapist. That's enough torture Aww. for me. She was doing a nice thing at Wednesday. I've reconsidered your offer. My offer? The dinner? The non-birthday dinner. Really? That's great. Um. Yay. How about I say I'm about to wolf out and get a pass to the looping cages and say so you volunteered to lock me in? Look at My that. My deviousness has finally rubbed off. <laughs> I believe I left mine at fencing. Actually, you left yours at the weather vane. Luckily, Bianca brought it back. She, is she purposely trying to get rid of that, though? <gasps> Why? Just wear the freaking snood. Let's go. She's wearing the snood? Oh, and Enid. Wait, oh. he's our Uber driver? Uber driver. <sighs> I thought we were going on a date. I thought this was a girl's night out. Oh gosh. There's been a change of plans. He thought he was going on a date. Of course it wasn't gonna happen. Aww. <gasps> wow, that's really easy to go in. Okay, the fact that their windows are just open like that. That's like Seriously? not safe. <laughs> I'm gonna go check out the garage. Clearly they're gonna go with her. Oh, damn, girl. It's a werewolf thing. <laughs> this is the car that hit the mayor. Okay, this just took a dark turn. I'd be afraid. Okay, but like they found the car. I'd be afraid to be in here. And they're going in the house. This is so dangerous. There's gonna be a doorway back there. I feel it. Oh, there's always a door. <laughs> Whenever there's a bookcase. Oh. <laughs> what will rain when I rise? This is really freaking spooky. The fact that no one knows that they're here. Well, okay, maybe Xavier does. All right. He might show up. The bed's made. No dust or cobwebs. Oh, great. Wait, is it going to be the sister? Wait. LG. Are those not the same flowers? The. Wait a second. This isn't going to be the therapist, is it? Oh! <gasps> No. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I'm like, could it be Xavier? But I feel like it could be this person. Hunter Snood. Stop. The Snood's gonna save them. <laughs> oh gosh, I hate the eyes on that thing. <gasps> okay, they would be dead. That would hurt. Okay. What are you doing? Well, like, you need to go. The Come on. Oh, I hate how that thing looks. Oh gosh. 
She put her in so much danger. But where's Tyler? Hey, what the hell are you thinking? We have to go back for Tyler. Okay, good. Okay, but <gasps> oh, he's actually hurt. Mm. Here, take this. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Not to make this about me, but I am having a full-blown panic attack right now. I need to get back before Reems realizes we've been gone. Sheriff, I understand you're upset, but I think you need to see something. They're going back, okay. I feel like all of the evidence will be gone. It's gonna be gone, isn't it? Yep, yep. Cause, yeah, no shit. From this point forward, you are forbidden from seeing Tyler, and you are forbidden from pursuing anything to do with this case. Oh. I'll never apologize for trying to uncover a truth. Did she grab something from it? Okay. I think I deserve another chance. Will she get that other chance? Please. <laughs> oh, she said please. Tonight was just the icing on the birthday cake you couldn't even be bothered to cut. You will use anyone to get what you want, even if it means putting them in danger. We could have died tonight because of your stupid obsession. But we didn't. <sighs> That's not always great to say. In this case, that is what is important. But her life isn't? <laughs> like... You want to be alone Wednesday? Be alone. Oh, my heart. Mm, this makes me so sad. Goody warned that I was destined to be alone. Maybe it's inevitable. Oh. Well, that's convenient. What the heck? But I won't be intimidated, and I will never give up. Woo! Okay, again. I feel like it could be the therapist, because... Blonde-haired child, blonde-haired therapist, but also she brought Eugene the same flowers. Mayor Walker got too close to the truth. Uh-oh. <gasps> he was silenced. Oh, shit. Are they gonna kill him? I will find you. Damn. Okay, actually, a good place to end because now I feel like... We have built up to maybe getting closer to solving this mystery. However, I'm starting to think it could be the therapist, at least having her be involved in it somehow. And mainly it's because the blonde hair and the flowers, but I don't know. And also being a therapist, you kind of hear about other people's lives around you. And I feel like you can use that in a bad way. So maybe. I'm gonna keep my theory on that. But also with Xavier, the fact that he knew where they were going to be, then the monster shows up and then he shows up unless they're really trying to mislead us. It looks so bad on his end. Like he looks so suspicious. And I was just like, dude, no. I feel like it's almost too obvious and misleading for him to be the monster. So I'm still gonna be like, eh, I don't think so. But the ending with Enid and Wednesday actually hurt me. I'm just like, look what you're doing, girl. These people want you to have a good time. The surprise birthday little cake party thing that they had and then the snood. <laughs> I feel so bad that she was really trying to get rid of that thing. And it's like, at least just Put it on your bedside i don't know and now she doesn't have it i don't think but i hope she realizes that you know she acts like she never cares and that really hurts people around her and their feelings like tricking them first of all to go to this place with her even though they said like hey we'll do it anyway and then to have them put in danger like that i don't know we are seeing Wednesday change a little bit. I feel like you don't want to change her too much because that might ruin her character, but there are ways, girl. There are ways to be nice. <laughs> okay, there you guys go. That was my reaction to episode five and six, and I will see you guys next Wednesday for the finale. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a happy holiday. Stay fresh and bye.